Hello friends and welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to be talking about MBR standard and GPT. We will talk about what is preferable for your system and also we will go through the process of changing one partition from MBR to GPT because I have all of my drives in GPT and one drive is still at MBR and this is a drive that I got from the old laptop and it's still 750 gigabytes so I decided to go ahead and use it. I want to make sure it's working as the rest of them. Yeah, stay tuned for this video and if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos and click that notification bell so you don't miss other videos. All right, let's go. So what is MBR? MBR stands short for the master boot record and it's a special type of boot sector on your drive such as hard drive or solid state drive and it holds information on how the logical partitions containing file systems such as FAT32 or NTFS are organized. It was first introduced in 1983. So back then when it was introduced, you know, the storage was not that huge. You know, if you get like a 128 megabyte of hard drive, you're probably going to be like saying, woohoo, it's like the really, really large storage you got. And I remember back in like early 2000, when you have like a 20 gigabyte hard drive, that was like maximum. So back then it was okay. MBR only supports a 32-bit operating system and the storage space is limited to 2 terabyte. But now when you get 10, 12 terabyte hard drives, well, that's not enough and you cannot work with that because it's only supporting two to up to 2 terabytes. So you have to switch up to a new level. You have to go with a 64-bit operating system so that it can support more storage space. That's why it's outdated and it's being replaced by the new standard called GPT. And GPT stands for the GUID partition table and GUID is short for globally unique identifier. So basically what it is, it's a globally unique identifier partition table. And it's a standard for partition table layout of your physical computer storage, such as your HDD or SSD. GPT is, is much newer standard and it supports 64-bit operating systems and the maximum storage size is equal to almost 10 zettabyte and 10 zettabyte is equal to 1 billion terabyte or 1 trillion gigabyte so i think we're gonna have that 64-bit version for a while yeah i think that's gonna be enough for for the near future boot support for gpt standard became available starting from windows vista and higher so if you're using windows xp or any older versions of windows or other operating system that's pretty much the same age you would still need to go with MBR and you cannot use GPT so don't try to change it because otherwise it won't start and it won't boot your system. So if you have Windows Vista or any higher like Windows 7, Windows 8 and of course Windows 10 you can go ahead and change it to the GPT but before you do that we're gonna have to go through a small process you're gonna make sure your, all your files are copied they're in a safe storage so that you're not gonna lose them Okay, let's go and try to do that right now. The easiest way to tell if you're using the MBR or GPT would be using one of the partition disk programs. I like using a Cronus disk director. It works really good, but there's also other programs that you can use and there is no problem with them. I just prefer this one. I'm just gonna load up. It takes a few minutes to just scan all the drives that you have in your system. And here, as we can see, I got a few drives. One is my SSD Sun Disk. And it says here it's a basic GPT. Then I have the hard drive that I took out from the laptop. And this is a Western Digital hard drive. And you see it says basic MBR. And I also have NVMe which is a basic GPT as well. And you can see it's broken down into two part main partitions. Plus there is a couple system ones. Then I also have the first drive. This is my external USB hard drive. And it's also MBR, but since it's a portable one, I don't really care about it because I don't load anything from it. And most of the time it's even disconnected from the computer. And I also have another external hard drive. And you can see that this one is a basic GPT. So this is a new one, it's a 4 terabyte versus this a 2 terabyte. And you can see the old one, they all they all gonna be used in the MBR and the new ones they're all gonna be using GPT nowadays. 
but I do want to change this one to GPT so they all are using the same standard in my computer and this doesn't cause any issues. I will show you two ways how to, you can change it to GPT from MBR but before we go ahead and do this you see that this drive contains some files already and we don't want to lose those files so we want to copy them and have them on an external hard drive or save it to a different drive because in case something's gonna happen and it's not gonna be bootable or it's not gonna be readable after that you might lose all the files on this drive so make sure you have a copy of them all right let's copy them first and then continue now as you can see I got all the files copied to another drive this way I emptied all this drive and will be real easy to convert it to the GPT. So we're going to go ahead and just do the first method. This method is going to be under the Windows operating system. So what it means is I'm actually using Windows operating system right now. And I started this program and I'm just going to do it right now using this Acronis disk director. You just got to choose the disk that you want to convert. And then on the left side panel here you can just click convert to GPT. And then Acronis Disk Director is telling you that the MBR will be converted to GPT. So you just gotta click OK. And then you just gotta press this button up here, Commit Pending Operations. And it's gonna start the process. Then you just gotta press Continue. Okay, so now it's all done. This was real simple. It only took about a couple minutes. And as you can see here, we all got GPT here, GPT, GPT. And the only one that I have in MBR is my external hard drive which I'm not gonna do I, I'm okay with the MBR on that one so this was method number one the second method is gonna be a little bit more complicated but it's also possible to do and you can do it even if you don't have an operating system installed on your computer and that will allow you to actually be more flexible for the method number two you're gonna need a USB flash drive of any size basically more than one gigabyte all you have to do is just go to tools here and then just click Acronis Bootable Media Builder and then you just gotta follow up the prompt steps here. You wanna create a Linux based Windows like representation. You don't need to change anything here just click next and then click next again. Right now you just wanna create what you wanna have on that bootable drive. All we wanna do is just wanna check this Acronis disk direct right now so we're just gonna click that and then click next. Then you gotta choose which drive you wanna use to create the bootable USB and I have this PNY 128 gigabyte drive so I'm just gonna choose that and press continue and make sure there is no important files on that drive as well because it's gonna just erase them all so you just want to make sure you copy that ahead of time press OK and then press continue and the process is pretty quick it's gonna take probably 20 30 seconds and it's gonna be ready to go so we're just gonna close this window restart windows and load from the bootable drive all right let's do this right now So as you can see here, a current disk director loaded from the USB stick is basically exact same copy of a Cronus disk director that you can open up in your normal Windows interface. The only difference you might have is your functionality of the mouse. You might not have the scroll wheel working or some other things like your extra buttons, but you usually don't need those. You can use those right and left click buttons. Yeah, like you see here, you have all the options you can convert your drives, you can split your drives, you can merge drives and you can also do conversion from GPT to MBR and vice versa. So yeah, this is it guys. This is how it works and this is your method number two in case you don't have Windows installed on your computer but you have this USB stick available. You can do it before you install Windows and you don't have to worry about having the Windows installed. And this is really helpful when you just get a fresh build your brand new rig and you don't have anything installed and you need to format it and you want to break it into partitions before that 
you can use this USB stick as well. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other videos. Also smash the notification bell so that you get notifications when the new videos comes out. I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.